Southern Lions and happy 20 years. What an amazing accomplishment and milestone, one that I wish we could all be celebrating together, but I'm so happy to be included in these celebrations from afar. First and foremost, Joanna, the most sincere congratulations on all you've done over two decades of impacting people and to the team and the community and the family nationwide that you have changed and touched the lives of. Amazing, my hat's off to you and to the many more decades to come. When I look back at the Alliance, hands down my most treasured memories are getting to interact with the people whose lives the Alliance was able to change. When I think back to the walks and getting to see mothers and fathers walk hand in hand with their sons and daughters who had found hope, peace, and recovery through the resources we were able to provide them with, nothing makes my heart swell more with gratitude than that. And if you had to ask me what the Alliance means to me, it's not that recovery is possible, but it's for all the possibilities that hold when life beyond your eating disorder. If you think, Joanna, the Alliance started out as your goal, your dream, when you reached recovery. Think of all the dreams, the startups, the impact, the families, the life changes that have occurred because people found out there was life beyond your eating disorder. So thank you for two decades of changing lives, two decades of possibilities, and two decades of making people realize that life can be so full once we get past our eating disorders. Hi, my name is Jillian Lambert and I have been collaborating with the Alliance for about 15 years. To me, the Alliance means, means so much. One, it means recovery is possible. That is so clearly demonstrated in everything the Alliance does. And it also demonstrates that we can change, we can change the world using our voices and sharing our voices and sharing our stories can really bring about change. And that's what the Alliance has done so incredibly well. When I think of the Alliance, I think of passion. I think of the passion that Joanna as the founder has brought to the Alliance and all of the staff and volunteers that work with the Alliance bring every day. They bring passion that really has led to the incredible work that the Alliance has done and the change that the Alliance has created. And I am thrilled to wish the Alliance a happy 20th anniversary. I'm Lori Berman, and I have been a supporter of the Alliance for many years. As a state senator, I hear from many constituents in need of mental health care. Through serving my community, I became aware of the Alliance and its services. The Alliance provides free and low cost care to the most vulnerable members of our community and the Alliance has helped to positively impact mental health outcome. To me, the Alliance means care, compassion, and hope. When I think of the Alliance, I think of healing, community, and care. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance for Eating Disorder Awareness. Hi, my name is Sari Foley and I am the events manager here at the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. And this is my daughter, Aniston. Um, we are so sad that we had to, I had to step away from maternity leave right before this wonderful event. Um, and I can't wait to see how it all comes together. I'm so proud of my team and I'm so proud of Joanna for 20 years of amazing service to the community nationwide. Um, my favorite part about the Alliance is that you can really see the change that we create um, when we go into a community. It's not some abstract thing. Um, you can actually attend our free clinician-led support groups and with the pandemic we actually switched to virtual so now actually individuals all over the nation um, can attend our support groups even if we're not in their actual communities yet which is really awesome. Um, really proud of the way we transitioned in this pandemic. Um, but we just wanted to say a huge happy 20th anniversary and we can't, I can't wait to be back at work, although I'm sure Aniston can wait. Um, yeah, and go Team Alliance. Hi, I'm Jamie Steffens. I'm the operations manager at the Alliance. I create solutions to help the Alliance run more smoothly and efficiently. I also manage the intern and volunteer program where we provide education to aspiring clinicians. The Alliance taught me I don't have to feel ashamed for being in recovery from an eating disorder. Happy anniversary, Alliance. Hi, my name is Corey Nearing and I'm a West Palm Beach City Commissioner. I have been a supporter of the Alliance for many years. 
As a community health advocate, I first learned of the significance of eating disorders and the hard work the Alliance does when a family friend needed their service. To me, the Alliance means hope, it means healing, support, it means accessibility and specialized care and services. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance for Eating Disorders. Thank you for all you do in our community. The Alliance has had such a big impact on my journey to recovery, and because of that, I am forever thankful. I am an Alliance survivor, because with the help from my family, friends, and the Alliance, I've realized my worth, that I need to keep going, and to always reach out for help. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance. My name is Lisa Jimenez, and I've been involved with the Alliance for a little over two years now. When I think of the Alliance, I think of hope and change. The Alliance's work helps me believe that one day we can live in a world where all people feel free and safe in their bodies. To me, the Alliance means safety. It's what I call home base for recovery. It's a place where all people recovered, recovering, or fighting for recovery can come together and get support. The Alliance never gave up on me when I gave up on myself. And if it weren't for the Alliance, I don't think I would be alive today. So they saved my life. Happy anniversary, happy birthday, Alliance. Love you. The Alliance is for me, as I have no doubt is for many of us tonight, a place of hope, of acceptance, of love, a relief that eating disorders will get the support and the resources that they so desperately need and deserve. A reminder that recovery is a thing. Recovery is possible and that there is so much beauty beyond the eating disorder. Hi, my name is Lisa Moreno. I'm the Donor Relations Manager at the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. For 20 years now, the Alliance has provided accessible treatment, support, and services across the nation to individuals who are experiencing eating disorders, to their loved ones, and to treatment providers. But at the Alliance, my favorite program is Psychological Services. At Psychological Services, individuals in our community who are uninsured or underinsured are able to receive outpatient eating disorder treatment for as little as $5 a session. This includes individuals who are Medicare beneficiaries, individuals who are covered by the VA, and many more others who otherwise would not have access to care. At Psychological Services, our therapists treat clients to completion. For as little as $5 a session, individuals are able to receive as many visits as is necessary, as well as other forms of care. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. Joanna, congratulations on everything that you've accomplished over the past two decades. I can't wait to be a part of many, many more years of creating change. Thank you. Hi, my name is Avi Tervaja and I'm a professional model and I've been with the Alliance for one year. The Alliance has impacted me because they have given a voice to people of color, people in large bodies, and people in marginalized communities. To me, the Alliance means that no matter your size, your skin color, your sex, gender, disability, that does not determine your worth. When I think of the Alliance, I think of hope, representation, and acceptance. I am an Alliance survivor because I'm a model in the industry breaking barriers representing people of color, people with large bodies that are underrepresented. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance of Eating Disorder Awareness. 20 more. Hey there, my name is Allison Walsh and I am so honored to be able to say that I've been involved with the Alliance in a lot of different capacities since 2006. I started helping other people eat, which is a nonprofit in Central Florida, and we recently became a part of the Alliance family officially. We've been able to collaborate in so many different ways over the years and I've just loved being able to partner up with the organization. And so I knew that it was time, when it was time to become a part of something bigger, that the Alliance was the only place to go and the best place to go. And so I am so thrilled that we're a part of the family now officially. You know, when I think about the Alliance, what comes to mind is this sense of community. 
this come as you are, wherever you are in your journey, you're welcome here. You're welcome as somebody that's struggling, right? However you are, wherever you are in your journey. Uh, if you're somebody that's looking for resources for their families, you're welcome here. We're going to walk alongside of you. If you're a professional that wants to know more about eating disorders and how you can help your community, you're welcome here. You're going to learn so much here. If you're a member of the community that simply wants to support or get more involved, you're absolutely welcome here. So it's an amazing organization and to see what Joanna has been able to build over the last 20 years, along with so many wonderful volunteers and staff members and communities across the country that are now behind her and helping to grow this organization, it is remarkable. And I am so excited to be able to be a part of this celebration. You know, when I think about the words uh, that come to mind with the Alliance, it's recovery, it's support, it's relief, it's community, it's collaboration. And there are so many things that I think of, and it's just such an amazing organization to be able to bring that uh, to light in so many different ways. So happy anniversary to the Alliance, to Joanna, to her team. You all are amazing and remarkable. And I know there's 20 plus times 20 times 20 times 20 more years to come of this amazing organization. So congratulations. My name is Carlos and I am a fan of the Alliance. The one thing that I know is that for the treatment of eating disorders, there are many a recourse. And for many families, the Alliance has been their primary resource, a guide in navigating what can be a life changing choice. A voice for so many who thought no one understood. A true force for good. Like into a bridge over troubled waters, the Alliance has shown safe passages to patients, spouses, mothers and fathers, with strong shoulders helping them carry the weight, meet the need, feel the fear and do anyways their creed. If ever there was one, the Alliance is great ground for sowing seed. In many ways, taking the lead, partnering with the eating disorder community, creating solidarity focused on recovery of the whole, mind, body, soul family, career, goals, ending the tolls ED demanded be paid. The dedication you gave, the sacrifices you have made, the sleepless nights wrestling with what this work weighed. How many chances have you had to walk away but you stayed? And 20 years later, the countless lives that have been saved through the priceless aid you made available. All because you said no, but not just no. You said no more. No more turning a blind eye to so much death. No more of the silence that perpetuates the violence against oneself. No more unchecked stigma in those who are supposed to help. 20 years ago, you said, ED, watch out because the Alliance has hit the floor. When medical doctors and hospitals didn't know, the Alliance was working to even the score. Demanding more from the field to yield more education. More from medical and mental health providers, connecting more eating disorder insiders across the nation giving families more hope to cope with their unique situations, placing quality care at the top to stop the abuse of unqualified treatment locations, fighting for legislations indirectly but directly in the business of creating powerful relations. Think about the circles of providers, families and patients, iron, constantly sharpening iron. Each swipe of the blade making sparks illuminating places that were once dark. Sincerely seeking to show searching soul safety like Noah's Ark. Has the Alliance really done all of that? Shut your mouth. I'm just getting ready to start. The Alliance offers comprehensive services, including educational presentations and training days to schools, healthcare providers, hospitals, and community agencies. Free clinician led weekly support groups nationwide for those experiencing eating disorders and for their loved ones. Support and referrals through both their free helpline and comprehensive referral website. Unique and empowering scale smashing events and smash talk panel discussions. And opening psychological services to help make ends meet. Helping some get up and others stay on their feet. Doing everything but slapping those that say, why don't they just eat? <laughs> this has truly been a treat because I personally love the Alliance. Johanna, Dr. Hindelman. McCall, Leah, Cherie, to name a few. What you do is poetic all by itself. To you, to the Alliance family, happy 20th anniversary.
Welcome to the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness's 20 Stories, 20 Years, celebrating two decades of creating change. Wow, 20 amazing years. So wild. Then again, so was I 20 years ago. Send me a DM if you want to know the details. As many of you know, the Alliance is a national nonprofit organization that is dedicated to the outreach, education, early intervention, support, and advocacy for all eating disorders. I'm Garrett Swan of the Santa Barbara Swans, and I'm thrilled to be your MC this evening, live here from New York City. We're so happy to celebrate the 20th anniversary with you as we reflect on where we have been and look forward to where we are going. I first learned of the Alliance and became involved with the Alliance 16 years ago when I was asked to design and produce their very first Escape to Reality fashion show, celebrating everybody. That and my immediate bond with Joanna Kendall and her story moved me and changed me. Also, how the Alliance has impacted you and many others. We really want to thank Center for Discovery and all of our sponsors for making this evening a reality. And a special thank you to everyone who purchased a VIP ticket. With the sale of those tickets, they will fund a new free weekly therapist-led virtual LGBTQ plus eating disorder support group. Tonight, we will be highlighting the incredible work the Alliance has done, impacting and saving people's lives across the globe through their countless programs and passion. We will be showcasing stories of individuals and their loved ones who have inspired us over the past two decades. So to kick off the night, let's start off with how it all began, with my number one bestie, mother to my favorite niece, CEO of the Alliance, the incomparable, trailblazing, fabulous, tenacious, and compassionate Joanna Candell. My name is Joanna Candell, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. I founded the Alliance in October of 2000 after a decade-long experience with several eating disorders. Now, I had planned to become a clinician that specialized in the treatment of eating disorders, and as I started on my journey to recovery, one thing that I knew for sure is that I wanted to give back and make a difference. My eating disorder started when I was in seventh grade and I remember being in that classroom and thinking that I didn't feel like I deserved to take up space actually to exist. And so as I started on my journey to recovery, I made a pact to myself that if I ever got better, I would do everything in my power to give back. And so at 21 years old, getting ready to go to graduate school, I called up my parents and I said, mom, dad, I want to start a nonprofit organization. And in their true manner, they turned around and they went, all right, we'll give you one year. And being 21 and feeling like I could revolutionize the world, I said, all right, let's do this. So the next day I applied for a loan, I graduated and I moved back home. And that's when the Alliance started. Now, the first 10 years of the organization were really, really rough. I actually at times worked three jobs. I worked weekends to try to keep the organization going. However, it was all worth it for that first time where I was able to sit in front of a classroom and share my story, how I had come from hell and back, and it was my life's work and mission to give back and make a difference. And on January 2nd, 2001, I officially opened up the doors to the organization inside a very, very small office in my Uncle Gerard's office. And from that moment on, I started the journey to which is what is now considered the Alliance. My name is Dr. Joanne Hendelman, and we think I've been with the Alliance for about 18 years. I found the Alliance a long time ago when I went to a fundraiser for an eating disorders organization. And that's where I met Joanna Candell. At the time, I was in private practice, and I love my private practice, and I wanted to do more. I wanted to be involved more, especially I wanted to be involved more with an eating disorders organization where I could get out in the community and help more in terms of how to help people with eating disorders. I do what I do because I, I wouldn't know what else to do. Um, I care about people with eating disorders. I want so much for things to improve for people with eating disorders. The people with eating disorders are 
fabulous people. They're so witty. They're so kind. And they're hurting so bad. And they just need our help. And we need to find a way to help them. So aligning with the Alliance allowed me to get more involved, to try to help, to try and do more than I could do in my office. Yes, I was helping people. There was no question about it. And for me, it wasn't enough. My name is Cherie Monarch. I first became involved with the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness over 11 years ago. An uninvited terrorist entered our home and took my loved one captive. Not only did he take my loved one captive, he attempted to destroy my entire family. That terrorist's name was anorexia. It's important to understand that eating disorders are not a choice. No one would choose an eating disorder in the same way they would not choose cancer. Navigating a journey of a loved one with an eating disorder is the most difficult thing I've ever encountered in my life. When we first started on this journey, I have never have felt more helpless or more alone. Literally standing on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, waves overtaking us and struggling to survive. A chance meeting with Joanna Candell, founder and CEO of the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness, would be the beginning of creating a community that would sustain and support my loved one, myself, and my family. The Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness is so much more than an eating disorder organization. I have witnessed over and over again what having community support, resources, and education can do for families and individuals experiencing an eating disorder. No one should be without community without a family. These two variables, family and community, often merge as one. This is exactly what has happened with the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. They are family. They are community. They have worked tirelessly to support individuals and families that are walking this journey holding their hand so they do not have to walk this path alone. The impact the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness has had on the eating disorder community cannot be measured. They are a bright light on a path that is muddled with darkness. They are the message, the support, the education, and the hope that full recovery from an eating disorder is possible. Thank you to the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness for being my community and my family. There are not enough words to express what you have done for me and how you have helped our family. I am incredibly grateful for all you have done. Happy 20th anniversary. You are the family, you are the community, you are the hope. You are the everything. Thank you. So reflecting back on, on 20 years of, of my journey, sometimes it feels like I started the Alliance yesterday and sometimes it feels like it was, it was eons ago. Um, you know, I'm so grateful for that 21 year old who started the Alliance, who wasn't afraid, um, who didn't take no for an answer, who may have been a little stubborn also. Um, I think I've grown into the word tenacious a little bit more than stubborn. I started the Alliance because I wanted to give back. Because I know that for me, I could have lost my life many times along my journey. And for me, when you go through something, you have two choices. And either of them are, are fantastic. One is to close the door and never talk about it again. The other is to give back and make a difference. And that was my choice. And so when I first started the Alliance, I thought that in a year's time, you know, we would be this major organization. And that wasn't necessarily our story. We had a very long journey. We had many, many, many detours, many late nights. Um, you know, my husband often says that there's three of us in our marriage. It's me, him, and the Alliance. Um, but I'm so grateful for his support. I'm so grateful for my family's support and for my dear friends. Um, 
When I think back at the Alliance, um, I'm so proud of where we've come from, where we're going. Um, as I look back to, to everything we've done, and I'm so excited for everything we're going to do. For me, I would have considered the Alliance successful if I just helped one person on the journey. Um, and I've been so grateful and I feel so lucky to have been part of many folks' journey, to be a bystander on their journey to recovery. One of the most amazing things and probably the biggest gift of all is when you get a phone call and say, hey, Joanna, I'm getting married today, or Joanna, I just graduated business school, or, or you know, Joanna, I just had my kids, or my, my first child. Um, there's no greater gift because the work that we do is not easy. It, it never ever ceases to humble me that every 52 minutes someone in this country loses their life as a direct result of their eating disorder. Now as we celebrate these moments, we're also charged to keep on moving forward because our work is far from being done. But you have my word and you have the alliance behind you that we will not stop using our voices. We will not stop advocating for change. We will not stop doing the services we provide until not one more person has to experience an eating disorder. Hi, my name is Liz Mata and I'm the Director of Education and Resources at the Alliance. I couldn't be more excited to be celebrating the Alliance's 20th anniversary with Joanna and our whole team. I'm also a licensed mental health counselor and work every day with family members of those with eating disorders, as well as individuals with eating disorders, as we try to navigate their path to recovery. At the Alliance, we've created a space to listen to, support, and work together with family members and individuals as we come up with resources that will best meet their needs. Another big part of our mission at the Alliance is education. We create, plan for, and implement educational trainings, workshops, and presentations all over the country in order to ensure that providers are equipped to recognize the signs and symptoms of eating disorders so individuals are diagnosed and connected to the most appropriate resources. I found the Alliance about a year and a half ago through an online support group that I was part of and I still am part of and um, was just encouraged to reach out to them for help in finding treatment facilities for my daughter who was uh, deeply entrenched in her eating disorder and other mental health struggles. And Liz has just been amazing. Um, She's taken the time to listen to my concerns and our needs. She's compassionate and uh, so professional too. The Alliance takes some of that pressure off of families by helping connect them with treatment facilities that um, accept their insurance and might be a good fit for their loved ones. So I can't say enough about the invaluable support that is offered through the Alliance and um, I'm just so grateful for finding them and the help that they offered us. Thank you Alliance for all that you do for countless families in helping them save lives of their loved ones. Hi, my name is Danny, And my name is Lara and we've been involved with the Alliance for 10 years. The Alliance has impacted my life significantly in many ways. Not only has the Alliance been available for support, but they've helped put me in contact with the professionals I needed in order to start my recovery. I genuinely don't think I would be alive if it weren't for the Alliance. The Alliance greatly impacted my life by giving me a place to get answers and to find a community who understands what my experiences were. For me, the Alliance means that people who have a family member or are themselves struggling with an eating disorder have a system of support, somewhere to turn to get answers to difficult questions, it is also a place that fights for the rights and needs of the eating disorder community. To me, the Alliance means hope. The Alliance has provided me with hope from day one, and I believe they provide hope for many others. Hope not only through helping find people, helping people find resources and having available support groups, but also hope through advocacy and lobbying. The Alliance works hard and gives me hope that hopefully policies in the future will change so that there's more coverage and hope that stigma about eating disorders is reduced. What makes me an Alliance survivor is being able to do a Zoom call with my daughter who has worked hard to be in recovery. 
who has afforded me through the process of recovery to be a better mom, better spouse, better friend, and better human. I am a survivor because Danny fights every day to be a survivor. And I'm an Alliance survivor because I'm thriving. While I still have my struggles, I live my life and am no longer defined by my eating disorder. My head voice is just an annoying pest that I'm able to fight. I'm a survivor because while there are many times where I thought I wouldn't make it, I'm still here and I continue to survive, thrive, and get stronger every day. We believe without Joanna and the Alliance, our journey with Ed might have been very different. Joanna and her team worked tirelessly to support all of us through what we believe is one of the hardest life challenges one can face. We wish the Alliance a very happy 20th anniversary and look forward to celebrating many more amazing milestones in the years to come. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance. I can't believe that it's been 20 years since you've been helping others and supporting others and finding recovery from their eating disorder. Professionally, I've been involved in the Alliance for about three years, but personally, the Alliance is very dear to my heart. When I was struggling with an eating disorder about 17 years ago, the Alliance was the main resource that aided my family in getting me the proper treatment that I needed at the time. So if it wasn't for the Alliance, I don't know where it would be today. I don't know if I would be able to help others in their recovery from their eating disorder. So I am forever grateful to Joanna and the Alliance for everything that they have done for me and everything that they continue to do for the community. So happy 20th. Can't believe it's been 20 years. So fortunate to be involved in this amazing organization. Hi, my name is Lori. I started coming to the Alliance when I was about 14 years old. I sat in this very room in their adolescent support group. I was deep in the throes of my eating disorder. I didn't think recovery was possible, especially for me. I thought I was the exception to the rule. But it was in this very room that I started to find hope and I started to believe that I could get better and that recovery was possible. I realized that I could give back in other ways and so I started getting involved um, with the Alliance, with volunteering and a few years ago I started working here part-time as their project coordinator um, and in my role I've been able to help create and maintain findedhelp.com, which is our free, inclusive, and comprehensive referral database for all levels of eating disorder care. I honestly don't think I would be here today if it weren't for the support of the Alliance. My Alliance family has walked with me um, during some of the hardest times of my recovery journey, and they never gave up on me, even when I really wanted to give up on myself. I'm so grateful to be a part of this team and to help create real tangible change um, in the lives of so many. So happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance. Hi friends, how are you? It's Mandy Moore. I just wanted to extend uh, a huge and hearty congratulations to the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness on celebrating their 20th anniversary. Congratulations, congratulations. I know you guys are a national nonprofit eating disorder organization and you provide life-saving services and really affect change in communities across the country. Um, I just, again, wanted to congratulate you uh, on all of the incredible work that you've done over the last two decades and cheers to many more years of doing the same. I know it's uh, difficult um, considering the circumstances to not be celebrating with your infamous in-person gala, but uh, no matter, it's still important for us to acknowledge these moments and to celebrate in the midst of what we've all been living through, right? It's so stressful and I think everyone just needs to take a minute and take a breath and sort of pat themselves on the back for what we've all uh, collectively been living through for the past six months. and. Um, to just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Um, but I'm sending you love and again, a huge debt of gratitude and congratulations on all of your remarkable work. Keep it up and have a great uh, rest of your gala. 
Hey everyone, Congressman Brian Mast here. Wanted to congratulate all of you at the Alliance on an incredible 20 years of service. It is an incredible accomplishment and it does deserve to be celebrated. Now over the last 20 years, each and every one of you, you've played a critical role in raising awareness, removing the stigma, helping people in our community and across the country recover from eating disorders. Now as an Army veteran, I've seen my fair share of physical wounds, but I also know that it's the invisible scars that are often the most difficult to treat. For me, people can see the help that I need. They can see that I need a shoulder or a handrail or a cane or something else. But if you can't see the wounds on somebody, it's a lot more difficult to go out there and offer the assistance. That's why I'm grateful to, to the Alliance for your hard work and partnership on the CERVE Act, which I introduced with Congressman Seth Moulton this past year. And this bill, it, it is critical in our fight to ensure that every veteran that's battling these disorders, that they have access to the best possible care that our country has to offer. Again, just wanted to say thank you to all of you for your continued dedication to this important issue and congratulations on celebrating 20 years. I do wish you all the best. You all take care. So much of what we do at the Alliance is based off of my personal journey. I experienced so much of my eating disorder and shame and secrecy. For so long, there could have been really great intervention. There could have been support. That's really the truth about eating disorders is that, you know, they really, they hide in secrecy, they grow in shame and they grow in isolation. And there were three distinct things that could have made a huge difference in my story. First and foremost, I wanted to be able to be with, um, with other people who spoke my language, who said me too. The other thing is that there were so many times where early intervention from healthcare providers could have helped, could have stopped me exactly where I was in my journey. And last but not least, I had no idea where to go. And so when I started the Alliance, I knew that I wanted to smash the stigma surrounding eating disorders and create much needed conversations by promoting access to care and support for those that are experiencing eating disorders as well as their loved ones. The first time or the first way that, that we did this is through support groups. I wanted so badly to be in a space where folks could hear me and not say a word, but felt understood, seen and heard. And so about 18 years ago, I put together a very small support group and we did it in the hallway of a treatment center. There were about four of us and we sat on, on, on the ground and that's really where support groups started. Now, over the years, with the amazing guidance of Dr. Joanne Hendelman, we've grown to 21 in-person support groups across the country. And the thing that makes us different is that all of our support groups are clinician led. We really believe in the safety and the oversight of clinicians with the peers really driving um, that boat. Hi, my name is Kara Zimmerman. My name is Abby, and I have a daughter who began struggling with an eating disorder about 10 years ago when she was 14 years old. I stumbled upon the Alliance and I made a phone call. And at that time I spoke with Sharon. She told us about the friends and family group at the Alliance and I began attending those meetings religiously. And if it weren't for those meetings, I don't really know how I would have gotten through. They offered education, they offered support, and they offered guidance. And through Dr. Hennelman and Joanna, who is the CEO of the Alliance, um, there was just so much information provided to us. We're just a wealth of guidance that we had never had before. The Alliance has impacted me in ways beyond words. Um, they gave me a second and third and fourth chance at recovery um, and truly did save my life. She would not be alive right now if it was not for the help of the Alliance. The Alliance offered her so much support and helped, keep, helped her to stay strong and continue the fight for recovery. And that's just what the Alliance does. They lift people up, they provide information, they provide education, they provide support, they provide guidance to help people access healthcare. They provide healthcare on an outpatient basis to those that don't have insurance um, or lack insurance um, coverage. 
and there's just not enough I can say about this wonderful organization and the lives that they save. Words that come to mind when I think of, you know, the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness is passion and love and inclusivity and safety. If it weren't for the Alliance, I wouldn't have graduated college. I wouldn't be going to law school in the fall. Um, and I just wouldn't be alive today. And I couldn't be more grateful for everything they've given myself and my family. So happy 20th anniversary. Love you guys. Hi, this is Frank Valenti, and I've been involved with the Alliance for the last five years. Um, the reason I got involved with the Alliance was because my wife, Julia, uh, began her recovery process from her eating disorder. And she mentioned that there was a support group for family members uh, that the Alliance hosted on uh, Wednesday nights. So I went to the support group and that's where I actually uh, picked up the tools to be able to support my wife in the most loving and caring way. Um, I couldn't believe what it was like sitting in the room with other family members and listening to the stories of how they were dealing um, with supporting their loved ones and the wide variety uh, of experiences and the impact that eating disorders had on family members as well obviously as the person that had the eating disorder. There was such a wide range of ages uh, of people that had eating disorders and it was just such a learning experience just about the um, the whole area of eating disorders but more importantly um, I learned how to communicate in a healthy and more loving way with my wife and as a result of that um, I was impacted in a way where I felt that I could actually support my wife so much better. My name is Kate Peoples and I've been involved with the Alliance for two years. The Alliance has greatly impacted my life by helping to bring accessible resources to my community. I'm from Austin. My, my hometown is Austin. I struggled with an eating disorder here and I recovered from one here. And the clinician-led support groups are something that I so desperately wanted during that time. And I'm so grateful to be able to bring to our community now. To me, the Alliance means making recovery accessible, whether that's through education or advocacy or therapy or groups. It means holding the hope that people can recover, but not just holding that hope, providing services that really make that possible. When I think of the Alliance, I think of a group of people that are so passionate about this work that really have some skin in the game. And not only do they believe that everyone can recover, but they're really making change to make sure that it's possible for everyone to recover. I am an Alliance survivor because of how I own my story, both as a person recovered from an eating disorder and as a clinician that now works with eating disorders. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance. It's a big deal. You guys are change makers and I'm so grateful for an organization like you and I hope we have 20 plus more years. Hi, my name is Amy Sullivan and I am the Southern Smash Coordinator for the Alliance. When COVID-19 hit the U.S., almost overnight, the Alliance transformed all of their in-person, free, clinician-led support groups to a virtual platform. This allowed people experiencing and recovering from an eating disorder, as well as their loved ones, to continue to get the much-needed support during the pandemic. The best part about these virtual check-ins though, is that they allow people from not only across the country, but from around the world to access eating disorder support that might not have resources available in their local community. As with all of our support groups, these virtual check-ins are clinician led. If both the clinician in training and someone who has recovered from an eating disorder, I've had the honor to help co-facilitate some of these virtual check-ins. I've been to my fair share of support groups throughout my journey, and I have to say, the amount of support and encouragement people in these groups offer one another is unlike anything I've ever seen. Recovery is happening in these check-ins every single week. I first came into hearing about the Alliance after many years of experiencing my eating disorder 
and I came to the meetings in the office and also virtually on the Zoom meetings. I've met so many wonderful people that don't don't even realize how much they've helped me. I would say a saying called AFCO, and AFCO meant another effing growth opportunity, and realized that that's what life truly is, just opportunities and how we deal with them. So we would laugh, and I have made so many special friends at the Alliance with the therapist, Joanna, and the people that I have shared with at the meetings. I just want to wish everybody a happy 20th anniversary and to let you know how happy I am that you have come into my life. You can't even imagine how you've helped me. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Rachel Porter, and I'm so excited to share my love, support, and appreciation of the Alliance for Eating Disorder Awareness. I have been a clinician in the eating disorder field for almost two decades, and I've been so honored and excited to work alongside the Alliance to spread awareness and information and knowledge for much of that time. To me, the Alliance means knowing my clients will always, always be able to access care, especially during these unprecedented times we've been in in the world, knowing that the Alliance has had virtual support groups for the last six months that clients could access for support has been such a relief. When I think of the Alliance, the words that come to mind are support, care, and passion. I've been fortunate enough to work alongside Joanna Kandel to fight for eating disorder legislation and treatment, and I'm so grateful for her tireless advocacy. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance, and here's to 20 more. Hi, my name is Stacy, and I have been a part of the Alliance for close to two years now. I got involved when I reached out to McCall Dempsey when I was struggling personally with my own eating disorder, and she introduced the Alliance and the work that they were doing. And I found out that the Alliance was funding a free support group here in my city of New Orleans. I got involved with that immediately. And since then, I've helped with some fundraisers here and there in whatever way that I can. The Alliance has greatly impacted my life because they helped lead me to a safe, accepting, open, honest place to share my personal journey. The Alliance, to me, means hope and it means opportunity. These people are showing up for others in whatever way, shape, or form that they possibly can, whether that's weekly check-ins, whether that's support groups, scale smashing, inspirational stories. But what I find to be the most inspiring to me is that these are real people sharing real, honest stories. When I think of the Alliance, I think of women with open arms and open hearts fighting to make a difference in a community that I feel is overlooked, I feel that it's judged, but more importantly, I feel it's very misunderstood. What makes me an Alliance survivor is that when I saw myself struggling, I was brave enough to reach out. Lastly, I want to wish the Alliance a very, very happy 20th anniversary. Your work is remarkable. Please keep sharing your light in our world. We need more of it. My name is Sarah, and I've been involved with the Alliance for three years. The Alliance has fueled my purpose and direction in both advocacy and my own recovery journey. Walking into an eating disorder support group was one of the first steps in saving my own life. The Alliance's free clinician-led support groups are impacting lives every day. To me, the Alliance is the definition of a chosen family. The Alliance embodies safety and allows people from all walks of life to discover their voice and their truth, something we all deserve. When I think of the Alliance, I think of hope in the form of action, inclusivity, authenticity, community, and revolution. I am an Alliance survivor because I am choosing to live fully alive. My priority is my well-being and my recovery. Recovery is like a special power. As the founder of the Alliance, Joanna often quotes from the great Maya Angelou, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Happy Happy, happy, happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance for Eating Disorders. All my love.
My name is McCall Dempsey, and I am the founder and director of Southern Smash. I started Southern Smash eight years ago with a really crazy idea and a huge passion to pay it forward. I had struggled with an eating disorder for 15 years, and I struggled in shame and in silence. And by starting Southern Smash, I wanted others to know that they are not alone. Now, when we first did our Scale Smash event on the lakes of LSU on November 16, 2012, I had no idea what I was in for. Little did I know that I was creating my life's work, mission, and purpose. The first few years of Southern Smash, <laughs> I was pretty much a one-woman show, and I had a whole lot of help from volunteers and people that believed in our mission, and my family who went along with it because they had no choice. I think it was 2015, I got a call from Joanna Candell, the founder and CEO of the Alliance, who of course I had heard about and admired for her hard work and passion and advocacy. She called to ask if I would come speak at the Not One More Walk in Boca, and I could not say yes fast enough. I flew down and the minute we met, we were instant friends. But more than that, she felt like the piece that had been missing. The Alliance was the piece that was missing all along. After many years of walks and collaborations and lobby day on Capitol Hill, Joanna and I came together in 2018 for a fundraiser that we created in New Orleans that would fund their free clinician-led support group. It was a dream come true for me to finally bring that much needed resource to my home state. And at the end of that night, I knew there was only one way to go, and that was to get married. <laughs> so I called Joanna and I said, what do you think about coming together officially and doing more together? And she instantly said yes. And in July, 2019, Southern Smash became a very proud program under the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. Officially joining the Alliance family has truly been a dream. It is such a gift to work alongside people whose number one passion and purpose is to help others gain access to care and put more resources in the hands of cities across the country that need it most. You know, I started Southern Smash with, sure, a really crazy idea, but all I really ever wanted to do was just pay it forward to that one person and let that one person know that they are not alone. They are not alone in their struggle. It has been the gift and privilege of my life to travel the country sharing my story. But more than that, it has been the ultimate privilege to hear others' stories and to see the ripple effect from a little pay it forward idea to suddenly having someone sit in the audience and listen to a smash talk and then pass the mic on to them and then watch them pay it forward. The ripple effect has gone far beyond anything I could ever dream of. Happy Anniversary Alliance. I can't believe it's 20 years and I am really excited to see what the next 20 years holds. Nearly six years ago in September, I walked into an auditorium at Chapel Hill, sat in the middle row and listened to a very brave woman share her story of living with an eating disorder and finding life in recovery. That woman was McCall Dempsey, founder of Southern Smash, and in so many ways, that exact moment is what saved my life. The next day, I was walking into treatment at UNC's Center of Excellence for Eating Disorders to begin my own journey. I honestly didn't know if recovery was possible. I had never heard of someone speak so openly about their journey and their story, the pain and the hope, but it was McCall's story that gave me that belief and ignited that hope that maybe one day I too could be sharing my story with someone else. Southern Smash impacted my life, not just on that night, but in every single day. It's that bravery and the hope that McCall had to pay it forward 
that makes Southern Smash what it is and makes the Alliance what it is. The bravery to fight for eating disorders as a public health issue. The bravery to make sure treatment is affordable and available for all. And if you think I'm saying bravery a lot, it's because it's to be found everywhere in the stories we hear from brave women and men who share their stories. From the brave women and men who fight in organizations like the Alliance to make sure that eating disorder treatment is available for everyone. When I think of Southern Smash, I think of hope. I think of paying it forward because someone was courageous enough to share their story and show me that life and recovery was possible. And it's that hope that I carry with me that by sharing some small parts of my story each and every day, that someone finds the help and hope that they need to. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance. I am beyond honored and grateful to continue to do this great work with you. I would have to say my favorite memory at the Alliance is probably from the Alliance's walk. At the walk, there was a Southern Smash Scandal smashing event where I got to go alongside my clients and take a sledgehammer to a couple of scales. And that was really significant, I think, for both me as a clinician and for my clients because we got to come together and tell the eating disorder that we're the boss and not the eating disorder in the scale. When I got the opportunity to join the Southern Smash team, I think I was literally jumping up and down with joy. But why? Why Smash Scales? Why does it matter so much? For me, the entirety of my eating disorder struggle was summed up by the number on the scale. I got on it multiple times a day and that number dictated my world. It told me if I had to wake up at 5 a.m. to work out, or if I could sleep in. It told me if I could go out to dinner with friends. It told me if I was worthy of love or not. Because of my obsession with the number of, on the scale, I lost the normal college experience. I didn't get those dream jobs because end of day, all I thought about, all I cared about was that number on the scale. So the ability to bring Southern Smash to these college campuses first of all, empowers these students, empowers people in these communities to know that they are so much more than a number, than a size, than what they see when they look in the mirror. But even more than that, throughout all of my struggle, I needed other people to say, you're not alone. I struggled in silence for the majority of my time in college because I thought no one else was struggling, but now I know that people were. People were struggling with eating disorders, with disordered eating, with body image, but no one knew because no one talked about it. When we are able to bring Southern Smash to these campuses, to these communities, we're able to tell people, first of all, that they're not alone, but more than that, the message that I needed to hear and that so many others needed to hear is that there is help and there is hope and there is life beyond your eating disorder and life beyond the number on the scale. Wow, such incredible stories. Each one just shines light and inspires us and validates what each and every one of you is participating with us here today. As you can tell, the Alliance has really been the premier eating disorder organization, paving the way for so many people to receive support and access to life-saving care. We absolutely could not do the work we do without you. Thank you all for your support throughout the years. But we need your help to continue and expand the services we provide. The need for our services is greater now more than ever. Calls into our helpline have nearly doubled. Searches on our referral website have almost tripled. And the attendance at our groups have hit an all-time high since the COVID-19 pandemic began. We need your support to meet this demand and help those that are reaching out to us for help.
For more than two decades, Center for Discovery has provided eating disorder treatment to patients nationwide. Our unique approach takes treatment into real life settings, allowing patients to feel safe, comfortable, and supported. This approach gives them coping skills and encouragement to address the complexities of eating disorders. From our hands-on dietary and therapy philosophies to multidisciplinary teams and alumni program, Center for Discovery makes real life recovery possible. We are honored to partner with the Alliance who has tirelessly educated the world about eating disorders. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and it's my pleasure to congratulate the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness on your 20th anniversary. Eating disorders are a serious mental illness that affect 30 million Americans during their lifetime and has the highest mortality rate of any psychiatric illness. The Alliance has made tremendous strides in its mission to lift the stigma surrounding mental illness and eating disorders. As a member of Congress, I will continue to support eating disorders research and the full implementation of programs that will help health professionals identify and treat eating disorders. I'm proud to have supported the 21st Century Cures Act, which supports evidence-based training programs that will help doctors, nurses, and others to identify, diagnose, and treat people with eating disorders. We need to learn more about eating disorders, educate health professionals, teachers, and families so that they can recognize symptoms and help individuals with eating disorders access the care that they need. The Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness's work is vital. Congratulations again on 20 meaningful years. Hi, my name's Deanna Spear. My husband Gordon and I lost our son and our son Ken lost his brother Joe to anorexia five and a half years ago. Joe is 26 years old. When Joe was diagnosed at the age of 24, we were suddenly thrown into trying to understand what anorexia was, how it was affecting his body, and where to get help. We quickly learned that many in our local medical community did not understand it or know what to do either. Joe's doctor actually said that Joe couldn't have an eating disorder because it was a girl's disease. The local hospital told Joe to go home and eat a lot. The closest eating disorder treatment facility was one and a half hours away and only treated females. Gordon and I ended up taking Joe all the way across the country to California to be hospitalized and then for therapy. My husband and I took turns staying in California with Joe for three months. When we came back, we still couldn't find adequate resources. We lost Joe the following November. Gordon and I have become strong advocates. We are determined to bring resources into our local community so that families can get the help and support they need close by and quickly. A year after Joe passed away, we held our first eating disorder awareness walk in Newark, Delaware. After a couple years, we realized we needed to bring resources into the community. All of the money we were raising was going to a large eating disorder organization. We needed it to stay in our community. We started a little grassroots group with the most amazing mix of talent. And then last year, the most wonderful thing happened. Joanna Cannell made our little grassroots group an affiliate of the Alliance. This has been a huge game changer for our area. In a little over a year, we have raised over $35,000. This money stays in our local community and will pay for free clinician-led weekly support groups for those recovering from eating disorders and one for their caregivers. And last September, the Alliance hosted the first ever eating disorder training in Delaware. I would like to take this time to thank you, Joanna. Your dream 20 years ago has become a reality. It is truly an honor to work with you. Thank you for your compassion, kindness, persistence, and vision. We are truly blessed.
So psychological services has always been um, this dream for me. The day that I opened up the Alliance, I started to get calls from folks that didn't have access to care, that didn't have insurance, that didn't have funds to pay for treatment. And I wholeheartedly believe that treatment is a necessity and should not be a luxury. I and the 30 million Americans that are currently experiencing eating disorders never chose to have eating disorders. So what do I do at the Alliance? Well, I developed a program called Psychological Services. That is a program that Joanna and I were hoping for for many years because we kept getting referrals from people where we couldn't give them referrals to go anywhere. They didn't have money. They didn't have insurance. Or they un were underinsured. They couldn't even afford the copay to go see a therapist. And so about 10 years ago, alongside Dr. H, we started talking about how do we do this? How do we offer direct care, very low cost direct care for our most vulnerable, for the underserved and marginalized community? And so Dr. H started on her journey and I started on mine and we put our heads together. Dr. H being the amazing teacher and supervisor and wanting so much to teach the future generation and me just wanting to allow folks to get access to care. Well, it was three years ago on September 2017 that we opened up the doors to the Alliance's Psychological Services. And since then, we've been able to treat 105 unduplicated folks that have never had access to care before. Some of these individuals have struggled with their eating disorder for 30, 40, 50 years and have never had the care that they so desperately need. Now, the most that they pay is $25 a session and the least that they pay is five. And it was really important for us that no one ever got turned away, that they could see their clinician for as long as they needed to, for as much as they needed to, until they were in recovery from their eating disorder. Now it is my hope and my, probably my biggest dream to be able to scale this program across the country so folks around the country will have access to this life-saving care. Hi, my name is Darian and I'm an Alliance survivor. I am a client with Psychological Services at the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness and have been for three years. I'm an Alliance survivor because of my resilience and ability to overcome challenges. With the Alliance, I have been able to achieve recovery and ability to live my best life. The Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness has been a game changer in my community, along with this service. This service has been provided to me at low cost sliding scale fee. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to seek treatment. The Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness has given me so much and psychological services has given me my life back. My eating disorder used to tell me that I wasn't good enough and didn't deserve treatment. However, with my therapist's psychological services, I've been able to prove it wrong. I deserve love, health, and happiness. The Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness has provided me a community along with recovery, and I couldn't be any prouder to be a Alliance survivor. I'm Elsie Bayo Gomez, Executive Director of the Four Girls Foundation. In 2014, we were introduced to Joanna and to the Alliance for Eating Disorder Awareness. We knew right away they were an amazing organization. In 2017, we were very excited when we partnered with the Alliance for Eating Disorders as they began their psychological services program, offering treatment to individuals that were underinsured or uninsured in our South Florida community, a service we so very much need. And today, our partnership continues to grow as the Alliance continues to grow. Thank you, Alliance. Thank you for the work you do every day. Thank you for raising awareness for eating disorders. Thank you for working so hard to eliminate the stigma. Thank you for your advocacy. Thank you for offering hope. Thank you for changing and saving the lives of so many. Four Girls Foundation is proud of the work the Alliance is doing. We are so honored to support the Alliance, and we are so proud to be part of your story. Congratulations on 20 years. We can't wait to see what you will accomplish in the next 20 as you continue to serve individuals and families affected by eating disorders. 
My name is Dr. Allie Weiser and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist who's recently stepped into a new role at the Alliance as Manager of Education and Resources. I've spent the last two years at the Alliance completing my postdoctoral fellowship in our one-of-a-kind program, Psychological Services. Psychological Services is an absolutely incredible program. It is the first in the nation to offer low-cost treatment to individuals who are either uninsured or underinsured and otherwise have no access to care. No one at Psychological Services gets turned down due to lack of finances or lack of resources. My absolute favorite memory from the Alliance is really just witnessing firsthand the impact that Psychological Services has made on individuals with eating disorders and their loved ones. I have watched so many people who have struggled for 20, 30, 40 plus years with their eating disorders walk through those doors for the first time and for the first time they report having hope and having a safe place to heal. Walking alongside these amazing humans on the recovery journeys has been an absolute honor. I am beyond grateful to be a part of the Alliance team and I want to wish the Alliance a happy 20th birthday. I cannot wait to see the impact we make in the next 20 plus years. The Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness saved my life. I began attending the free support groups about a year and a half ago and sought help from their low-cost psych services around the same time. My therapist at Psych Services worked incredibly hard with me for over a year, finding me a low-cost dietitian to join my team, creative ways to combat my eating disorder, and offered meal support to work through things that came up for me. My team and the whole Alliance family worked with me, supported me, and cheered me on as I began conquering the different parts of my eating disorder. When we decided as a team that I needed more support than outpatient psych services could offer me, the Alliance family helped me research and collect a list of eating disorder treatment facilities they thought would be the best fit for me, my family, and my life. With Joanna, the Alliance family, my therapist and dietitian by my side, I entered residential treatment, which both changed and saved my life. While in residential treatment, the Alliance continued to check in on me, support me, and let me know that they'll be there waiting for me when I return. Without the reduced cost services and free in-person and virtual support groups, I never would have gotten help for my eating disorder, and it could have taken my life. Because of their help, support, and guidance, my life has been saved. I'm now able to be there for my children, my family, my students, and for everything that life will bring me. Thank you, Alliance family for always being there for me. One word that comes to mind when I think about the Alliance, life. Hi, this is Ana V. Escamani. I am proud to be the State House Representative for District 47 in the Florida Legislature, and I'm proud to be a supporter of the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. Now, I know all too well how important the Alliance is to our community. Um, they provide free weekly clinician-led support groups in Central Florida and that really ensures that everyday people have a safe place to go to be their authentic selves and to be supported. Um, it's a space for healing. And I know that regardless of race, age, income, body shape, or size, having these spaces with clinicians, with experts, um, to allow folks to share their stories and to find solidarity and their struggle is essential to that healing process. Now, for me, the Alliance is, is really important because I grew up in this town as, as a daughter, as a sister, as a friend, and I know so many folks who have had to navigate um, challenges when it comes to eating disorders. And it's really important that we break the stigma and we create spaces that are affirming to every type of person. And the Alliance does that, whether it's through social media efforts or, or support groups or in their community events, pre-COVID-19, of course. Um, um, I know that the Alliance has been leading the charge in creating opportunities for these conversations to happen in, a, in an accessible and safe way. I am an Alliance survivor because I proudly represent all of my constituents and work hard to ensure they have access to critical mental health care. And I'm very grateful to the Alliance and being a part of this work. Happy 20th anniversary to the Alliance. Super grateful to have you here in our community. I can't believe that this night is actually here. That 20 years ago today, I filed the paperwork to incorporate the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. 
I am so overcome with gratitude and I'm so humbled that you are sharing this milestone moment in our history with me and our entire Alliance family tonight. From the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you for showing up for you, for your community, and for the hundreds of thousands of folks that we have worked with over the years. Now, I am so moved and so inspired by all the stories we've already heard. And I'm so excited that tonight, the Alliance will be giving activist, actor, all around superwoman, and iWay founder, Jamila Jamil, our Global Changemaker Award. Now, when my team and I started putting our heads together to think of who we could give this amazing award to, who really stands out, who makes a difference, who doesn't just say a few words and walks away, but continues to create conversations, continues to smash the stigma, continues to elevate voices and passes the mic to others. There was just one person. We are so honored to give Jamila Jamil our Global Changemaker Award for everything that she's done over the years and all the things that we know that she will continue to do. So on behalf of our board, our staff, our volunteers, and our whole Alliance community, I am so happy to give you, Jamila Jamil, the Global Changemaker Award. Thank you for everything that you've done and will continue to do. Thank you so much to the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. I really appreciate this honor. I have been campaigning for eating disorder awareness for 15 years and it's because I'm obsessed with not only the symptoms of eating disorders but also the causes. And I know that a large portion of them come from media, entertainment, television, film, fashion, and now social media. And so I'm someone who's lost 20 years of my life to an eating disorder. And even when I wasn't actively starving myself, it still just completely consumed me and robbed me of all of my joy and so many wonderful years and amazing experiences that I lost out on because I was just soaked in this mental illness. And I don't want anyone else to end up like me or to lose as much time as I have lost. And therefore, this is my obsession and it means so much to me to be recognized for that work. I hope that we can continue to work together. Happy birthday, 20 years is such an amazing achievement. And as we can see from the numbers, we are at an epidemic. We are at an all time high of eating disorders, especially amongst teens. You are needed now more than ever. So thank you for the work you do. Thank you for the work that I know you are going to continue to do and I will be right by your side. So in full honesty, I totally slept through American government in college. I hate politics. I really felt like my voice really didn't matter. But one of the things I learned in my journey to recovery is that my voice really does matter. 19 years ago, I went to DC for my first time to use my voice. I was able to meet with my member of Congress and I remember walking into his office, not knowing what I was gonna say or if it really mattered that I had showed up that day. In my bag, I had a yellow for dummies book about government and I watched the, the schoolhouse rock video of Bill is a Bill. So I walked into my Congressman's office. He was very gracious and he asked me why I was there that day. And I remember not having anything to say and for those of you who know me, that doesn't really happen much. I've been known for talking a little too much. But he sat down and he kept on asking me why I was there. And then he asked me one question that changed the course of my experience with advocacy. He asked me to share with him my story. And so I shared with him that I had experienced my eating disorder for a very long time, that I had not had access to care, that I had dedicated myself to creating change on not only a micro level, but a macro level. At the end of that conversation, we stood up and he shook my hand and he said, thank you so much. Just know that your voice mattered today. That year I got connected with the Eating Disorders Coalition and my love of advocacy just flourished. Over the years, I've been able to advocate on Capitol Hill over 35 times. I've been able to go to the White House during two different administrations. 
and I am now a very proud member of the ISMIC, a special committee that deals with serious mental illness across the country for the federal government. My name is Katrina Velasquez and I've been involved with the Alliance for six years. The Alliance has greatly impacted my life by making my work in federal policy a lot easier with their really effective grassroots advocacy. One great example is their help in passing the Anna Weston Act back in 2015. To me, the Alliance means peer support and treatment for the most vulnerable people affected by eating disorders in our nation. When I think of the Alliance, I think of a very caring and passionate voice of all individuals affected by eating disorder. You know, honestly, when I think of the Alliance, you just get stuff done. I think I've never had to explain anything. You guys are able to help people when I have someone affected who comes to me. Um, you're able to immediately help them to federal policy. It's literally picking up a phone and you make stuff happen. So that's what I think about when I think about you guys is if I need shit done, I'm sure you can film that, but anyway, I need shit done, you guys do it. Happy anniversary, so happy for you guys. It's so exciting, you guys have done so much. My name is Matthew Murray. I was the program coordinator at the Alliance before leaving to start my PhD a few years ago, which I am confident would not have happened without my time at the Alliance. I have so many wonderful memories from the Alliance, but if I really had to choose, my favorite collection of memories would be being able to participate in legislative advocacy. I think part of what makes the Alliance really special is that it's a place of both individual level and large scale change. And being able to use my voice in that way and help affect change gave me such a deep sense of empowerment that I really cherish and value. And I'm confident in saying that that sense of empowerment is something that is a shared phenomenon among anybody who is a part of the Alliance. Joanna likes to refer to it as the Alliance family, and that is the absolute truth. There's a real sense of safety at the Alliance that you simply cannot find in most spaces. And I think if I had to boil it down, what the Alliance really means to me and to so many other people is hope. And that hope is the foundation upon which recovery happens. So as a person and a professional, it's such a comfort to know that there are good people doing the important and the necessary work. I am eternally grateful for and appreciative of my time at the Alliance and for the people at the Alliance and it is such an honor and a privilege to be a part of their story. My name is Bryn Austin. I'm a professor and director of STRIPE, a strategic training initiative for the prevention of eating disorders based at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health, Boston Children's Hospital. I've worked with the amazing Joanna Kandel and the Alliance for well over five years now through the Eating Disorders Coalition. To me, the Alliance means two things. Hope oh, right now, today, with a helping hand and a caring heart for the many, many people struggling with an eating disorder, and vision for a future without eating disorders, a world where doctors know how to recognize and treat eating disorders at the earliest signs, where policymakers make it their mission, do everything within their power to prevent eating disorders from taking another life. When I think of the Alliance, of course I think of Joanna and her remarkable leadership. Joanna has the most uncanny ability to move through the world emanating love and compassion at the same time as she is skillfully wrangling members of Congress and CEOs of major corporations to make her mission their mission ensure that all children and people of all ages have a chance to reach their full potential. Happy 20th anniversary, The Alliance. My name is Chase Bannister. I am an eating disorder specialist and clinician, fortunate to have been the founder of a number of eating disorders treatment facilities across the United States. 
and I'm privileged to serve as the president of the Eating Disorders Coalition for Research Policy and Action. And I've loved and known the people who make up the Alliance for the better part of 15 years now. To me, the Alliance is the standard bearer in the sphere of eating disorders for care and for advocacy. When providers are looking for specialty care for their patients or clients with eating disorders, they look to the Alliance. You know, when folks discern that they need care for their own eating disorder illness and don't know where to turn, they look to the Alliance. When family and or friends learn their loved one is drowning in the deep waters of eating disorder illness and not sure in the sea of information where to turn, they look to the Alliance. When legislation needs to be moved on Capitol Hill, and, he, and we need voices to speak powerful truths to persons in powerful positions. We look to the Alliance and what a gift that has been these 20 years. When I think of the Alliance, of course, I think about trust. I think about compassion. I think about wisdom. I think about integrity. I think about showing up. I also think about hope, of course, but not just but not just any kind of hope, the prevenient kind of hope, you know, that hope that the hope that comes before a hope that existed long before folks even knew they'd need a hand to guide them through the torrents that can define the experience of an eating disorder, a hope for healing and recovery and transformation uh, that has been cemented in time and experience long before families even knew they'd need a pillar against which to lean. So to Joanna Kandel and all the staff, directors, boards of directors, members, volunteers, and of course donors who make the Alliance the tremendous gift that it is to this world, happy 20th anniversary. We hold you in the light today knowing that you are going to shine for another score of years and long beyond from my heart and my hearth and home thank you for making a difference and thank you for saving lives and perhaps on this occasion i would remind you of what our favorite neighbor Mr. Fred McFeely Rogers said to us when we were so young years ago, you make today a special day by just your being you. And there is no one in the world like you. And I like you just the way you are. Thank you. And here's to another 20 years. Cheers, my friends. Hi, it's Ted. I am so honored to join you to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. For 20 years, the Alliance has never stopped inspiring change. About 10 years ago, I first met Joanna Kandel and heard about her amazing journey toward the realization that recovery is possible. It's her dedication to helping others pursue that empowering journey that is the foundation of the Alliance's work. During my time in Congress, it's been amazing to see the Alliance grow. The Alliance has helped so many people who didn't know where to turn for eating disorders resources. I'm so grateful for the opportunity that I've had to work with the Alliance to erase the stigma surrounding eating disorders and to fight for equal access to treatment. You have achieved real change. The Anna Weston Act would not be law without you. You made history with the first ever eating disorders legislation passed by the United States Congress. You have moved members of Congress by sharing your powerful stories. The entire team at the Alliance works tirelessly to improve our community and to inspire others to use their voices for change. And despite all of your success, success over the past 20 years, you know that your work is far from over. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with you as the Alliance's mission and impact continue to grow. Congratulations to the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness on your 20th anniversary, and here's to many more years of great and important work. When we think of the future, we envision uh, free clinician-led support groups in communities across the country. 
more virtual groups so that we can make sure that even folks that don't have access to care in their local community can still get support. We want to continue all of our educating our frontline providers so that they know how to properly recognize and refer. We really hope to grow our find ED help and referral mechanism. Being the only nonprofit in the country that does direct referrals with a completely licensed team doing those referrals, it's really important for us, for those that are experiencing eating disorders and their loved one to know where to turn where they need help. More than anything, we just wanted to continue to show up for our community, letting them know that there is help, that there is hope, that recovery is possible, and it's not just possible for certain folks. All of us deserve access to care, and all of us deserve the opportunity to live our life beyond our eating disorders. My name is Leah Wypik, and I am the board chair for the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness. So I've been involved with the Alliance for almost a decade now. The past 10 years for me and 20 years for the Alliance, we've helped so many people and educated so many people on eating disorders. We still have a very long way to go, but we've done so much. The one thing that I have seen with my own two eyes is that the Alliance provides hope hope that there's a better life for those who are struggling, hope to families that they will be able to help support their loved ones. The Alliance really just provides hope. The Alliance for me personally has helped me maintain my recovery, has offered me op opportunities that I would have never even imagined. Advocating on the Hill, um, meeting with our local, state, and federal legislators and knowing that my voice counts. It's been pretty awe-inspiring. What makes me an Alliance survivor is that I have gone through hell and back. I'm a breast cancer survivor, I'm an eating disorder survivor, and there's all the rest of the fun stuff that life likes to throw at you. But because of the Alliance and the family, as part of the Alliance, I'm here, I'm happy, I'm healthy, and I know that that's the impact that the Alliance has made for the past 20 years. Happy anniversary. 20 years gone, lots, lots more to go. Happy anniversary to the Alliance. This is my daughter, Rachel. And this is my mom, Judy. And we've been involved with the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness for almost 10 years. I struggled with, with an e eating disorder for mo most of my life. And when Rachel first came to me with her struggles, my heart fell. I knew that I needed to get her the best care I could. So my mom connected me to the Alliance, who connected me to the treatment that I needed. The Alliance taught me that I wasn't alone and that I didn't have to look a certain way to be struggling with an eating disorder. The Alliance was a driving force that started my journey to recovery. The Alliance also helped me re realize I am not my eating disorder and that recovery is truly possible. Seeing the Alliance's impact on my mom's ability to give herself permission to prioritize her own health and happiness motivated me to keep, to keep going in my recovery too. So when we think of the Alliance, we think of healing together, supporting together, and actually fueling each other's recoveries with a big community of folks who just get it. And because of the Alliance, not only do I consider myself recovered, but so does my mom. And today I'm a recovered eating disorders clinician, and my mom is super involved in the Alliance's efforts to expand access to care. Thank, Thank you, Alliance, and happy 20th anniversary. anniversary. Hello everyone, my name is Deanna Gonzalez and I am honored and proud to be here today to share with you what the Alliance for Eating Disorders Awareness means to me and my family. My 17 year old son, a competitive dancer and athlete, was diagnosed with anorexia and body dysmorphia at the age of 12. I can honestly say without the support, the love and the guidance from the Alliance, we would have never been able to find 
the amazing team of doctors and specialists and therapists, as well as a treatment facility that my son so desperately needed. They basically helped us save his life. For that, we are ever grateful and thankful. My son is now four years in recovery and living his best life. For that, I want to say happy anniversary to the Alliance. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep spreading your love. And now, here's a little snippet and preview of what my son has been doing since he gained back his life. Thank you. I'm slowly drifting to We are a 501c3 nonprofit, and that uh, your support goes a long way to doing something that no other organization in the United States is doing, and that is boots on the ground resources in communities for people with eating disorders. Everything from referral services to actual group meetings for people in recovery to group meetings for family members. These are clinician supported meetings. Um, it's an incredible organization. When I think of the Alliance, I think of the word love. Everything that's being done through the Alliance is done with the background of love, trying to show how we can help love and support people with eating disorders, family members with eating disorders, and also educate our communities about the healthiest way to support uh, eating disorder treatment in their own separate communities. So happy birthday, Alliance. Happy 20th anniversary. And I hope that everybody um, that's watching this, that's in recovery, maybe even struggling with your recovery, takes a little time out today to know that there is hope. So why am I at the Alliance? Because the Alliance is, is a part of me. The Alliance has given me incredibly fabulous days and allowed me to really be the person I want to be. Thank you, Alliance. Happy 20th anniversary. Thank you so much. I have no words to really share how much this evening has meant to me. It's not the event that we had all hoped and anticipated, but I can absolutely say that it's so much better than I could have ever dreamt. Thank you for being part of our story. Thank you for reflecting on where we've been and helping us continue to move forward. Your support means the world, and I cannot wait for the next 20 years. Please take good care 
stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Alliance. Happy birthday to you. I love you, Alliance. I really want to thank everyone who participated in tonight's program. Thank you all for sharing your intimate stories with us. You inspire us all. And thank you to the Alliance for everything you've done for our world over the past 20 years and the countless lives you have impacted and saved across the globe. If you or someone you know is experiencing an eating disorder, please know that there is help. There is hope and recovery is possible. The Alliance is here to support you in every step of the way more than anything. I want to thank you for being a part of our story. We look forward to the next 20 years with you. Oh, and don't forget to donate and allow the Alliance to continue their life-saving services. Together, we can and do make a difference. But don't just log off yet. We have a special exclusive performance by Pete Murano from Trombone Shorty and Orleans Avenue. Thanks again, everyone. Good night, take care, and stay safe. Hi, everyone. I'm Pete Murano. I'd like to say happy 20 years to the Alliance. Thank you for bringing accessible support to Louisiana.